Got it here, very vintage pencil sharpener. Check this out. This right here gears um, and the blades on the inside of it. It's kind of going to grind the pencil. This is a planetary pencil sharpener dated at 1898. A really old pencil sharpener. Okay, let's see how it works. I'm going to show you a couple of close-ups. You see how there's lots of gears for everything to spin smoothly. It's nice and spins really fast. And also there is right here you push it and if you look on the inside that's a clamp for the pencil. That's what's going to clamp the pencil up. So let's put the pencil in and the reason why it have to be screwed in because the only way to sharpen the pencil now we have to actually push it. I wish the table was steadier not really using the table but as you can see once you got a good uh, like uh, motion going it's slowly going to be grind up and sharpened we don't want to do too much pressure because it'll just uh, get stuck just a little bit even pressure you see I'm pushing it forward Just gotta keep it going looks like see what happens yeah definitely need to go a little bit more just gotta keep it going looks like see what happens yeah definitely need to go a little bit more nope the other way it doesn't work only this way we can kind of see the progress let's check wow look at that it's definitely almost done a bit more maybe push this stick it all the way let's see if it's going to get it really nice and sharp Take it out. Oh wow, look at that. Well, there you go guys. That's pretty intense. Look how beautiful that is. I can't believe it actually worked. I forgot to include the pencil shaving holders. So you can remove it and empty it out. Got it here, another Olight flashlight with the uh, little Velcro patch. So you have tiny little flashlight this way so you can stand it up. Take this off from the batteries. It's a little bit in the way. There you go. Okay, very bright flashlight. It gets even brighter. Wow. So why about this one? Because it comes with one of these uh, patch holders. So you can patch it pretty much anywhere. You can put it onto the head or you can put it onto the uh, like uh, shoulder or like chest, onto the backpack strap. This is the idea of it and it's highly adjustable. So if you have a Velcro attachments, you can put it onto the head or whatever and turn it on from the side and check this out. Your head becomes a, a flashlight head. Also, you can remove it, use it like a flashlight, plug it back in, boom. And obviously, sometimes you have a patches like this onto your jacket, so you can put it right on a chest onto your jacket and you have a flashlight or on a backpack strap you can attach velcro so this is very versatile i really like that a lot so there you go that head flashlight it looks really nice fits perfect for that head got it here a stain bar light this is a multi-charger magnetic one as you can see very portable and very long wires and I guess this right here will be the charger. A regular charger right here. And also you can plug it in into your laptop or the different charger power banks. So take this apart. And as you can see, it has quite a bit of space between each device in case you need to charge up a lantern and stuff. And you can do four different flashlights. So real quickly, you. Yeah plug it in charge this one then you can go with the bigger one right here 
charge the bigger flashlight and I have another small one so I have two of the same ones head here and another one you see this one is different boom and just plug it in oh wow you can actually do five that's cool so you can really charge all your flashlights at the same time in a way it is tangle free because it's all magnetized to each other so it'll stay together pretty good got it here one quest tough build gear so this is like a gear pouch and let's see what's about it has a double zipper and you can open it up all the way and kind of spread all your gear out and you can put all your screwdrivers in all the knives all the little tools this is actually really cool and you know what i think we're going to make a little survival kit out of this because it's really small it has a little pouch over here it has another little pocket it zips up so it can be attached onto the different uh, module like holders just like on the back seat i showed you mobile core side here this is cool and again look at this details on a zipper so you can open it up and access pretty much anything you need inside here wow this is so cool look at all these pockets so yeah we'll build a miniature maybe survival kit out of it we'll see what i come up with i really like that little pouch got it here new camping fan i never seen one like that so looks like rechargeable with a solar panel tiny one uh, that's cool there's a hook Ooh, that's nice so you can hang it i just turned it on by mistake i have no idea how i did that so you have a little fan oh there you go Ooh, that's powerful too i like that uh, we can turn off the lights that is nice i do like the noise because that honestly will only just make me sleep on the powerful most powerful but on the first or second it's not as loud okay there is a rechargeable pieces how do you open this okay this side here will pop open except it's not so easy there you go if you want the lights to point down you have really nice lights i don't know why you want that this kind of nice for the uh, animals will not see the red light but there you go that's the brightest and if you want a lantern you can just set it down this way a little bit weak of a light but it's just extra as you can see you have camping uh, how to take it out camping fan and a light at the same time definitely unique design very cool and it folds up for less space 